I am Anil Kumar and here is another rational inequality to practice. We have x over x minus 2 less than equal to x minus 1 over x plus 1. To solve the inequality, we should bring all the terms to one side and caution here is do not, do not cross multiply, right? Do not cross multiply. Now think about the reason why, right? we'll get back to this. Okay. So do not cross multiply, bring them to one side. So when you bring them to one side, we get x over x minus 2 minus x minus 1 over x plus 1 is less than equals to 0. Why should we not cross multiply? Since the term x could be any value, we could have this whole thing to be negative also. If you multiply by a negative number, you have to change the inequality sign. That is why, right? So you have to only bring it to one side, adding and subtraction should be done at this stage. That is the key when you're solving rational inequality. Now let's take common denominator, expand and simplify. Common denominator is x minus 2 times x plus 1. You can pause the video, answer the question and then check your solution. So we have x minus 1 times x minus 2 less than equals to 0. So you multiply, you get x squared plus x. Here, let's put a bracket first. So we get x squared minus 2x minus x plus 2, right? Less than equals to 0, but everything should be divided by x minus 2 times x plus 1. Do not expand denominator. That's key, okay? Now let's simplify this. We have x squared minus x squared, which is 0. And then we have minus x, or let me do one more step, okay? x squared plus x minus let's open the bracket and minus 2x minus x is minus 3x when you open it becomes plus 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 times x plus 1 less than equals to 0 x square minus x square is 0 x plus 3x is 4x so we get 4x plus 2 in the numerator the denominator is x minus 2 times x plus 1 less than equals to 0 Let's take it to the right side and further simplify. So we can take 2 common in the numerator and so we get 2x plus 1 and the denominator for us is x minus 2 times x plus 1. Okay. And we are looking for less than equals to 0. Remember the restrictions here is that x is not equal to 2 and minus 1. So exclude those answers from your solution less than equal to, right? So you may get them as part of your answer. Now the idea is that we have three different whole, uh, I mean, zeros. One from the numerator zero to denominator zero. Of course, the denominator zeros will result into vertical asymptotes in this particular case, but we'll always call them zeros of denominators. So these are basic discontinuities, kind of, right? Or areas where the sign can change. So the sign can change at the values where x is minus 1, plus 2, or minus half. So these are the values. Minus 1, this is because of that. Minus half, let me write minus half here, or plus 2. Now because of these points, the plane is divided into four intervals, right? So we call them as intervals, and our intervals are from minus infinity to minus 1, from minus 1 to minus half, minus half to 2, and then from 2 to infinity. In each interval, we are going to take test points, right? And then analyze the sign of each factor. We do not really have to calculate the value, right? Only the sign is enough for us, okay? So let us write down the test points first. So minus 2 would be a good point minus one i mean this is between less than one but more than i mean i more than minus one but less than minus half means minus 0 0.75 that is a good value and then here zero and then three so the factors are two times two x plus one x minus two and x plus one okay so let us write down their signs one by one so if I use minus 2 here, this will be negative. Minus 0 0.75, since it is more than half, this is also going to be negative. 0 is going to give me positive. These two values positive. 
Now, if I take minus 2, it is negative. Minus, more minus. 0 means negative, but this is positive. Here, minus 2 is negative. Minus 0 0.75, will, these will give us positive signs. Now, when I have my function here, which is product of three negatives, I'm getting a negative. Product of two negative is one positive. This is negative. This is positive. Since we are looking for less than, then what are the solutions? Less than equal to means these are the solutions, right? So we get our answer and we can just say the solution for the inequality is. Now, you cannot include negative infinity, so that is always not included. However, can you include minus 1 because less than equal to minus 1 is also discontinuity it cannot be included so it is from minus infinity to minus 1 both not included union there we have minus half minus half is the 0 so you could include that so we'll have minus half included since it's less than equal to 0 and 2 cannot be included since it is in the denominator so that is kind of very important part so when you you should be very careful at this stage while writing your solution. I hope that really helps you. Thank you and all the best for the exam.